Maker, you can um, take those raw files and make them into movies or video. Uh, and I'm actually considering getting some uh, video editing software at some point in time as well. Where is it? I just put it together. Replicator. Yeah, we're going to try to play Replicator's Gambit today, so that means I need to draw lots of cards because I'm going to be throwing away perfectly good cards. So this should be okay, I guess. So hopefully, maybe the internet will get better. I don't know. I try to stream at a, at a high high data rate, so... has a random cards deck. Well, I guess that's good for us. So, yes, this is going to be a slow deck to play. So I'm playing with this guy, so that way when I do draw those extra artifacts with Replicator's Gambit, they'll be a lot cheaper to play. I can play Terrabot, which should hopefully lock up the board long enough for me that I can Gambit something trying to play things with come into play abilities as well, but if I like replicated a Terabot and threw it in, then I could end up with a lot of, you know, play a Terabot for free if I top decked it. That's the way I'm looking at it. And then get six if I can gambit. So we got another dude. And for three I will play this Terabot, maybe. It didn't show like I could play it, but I can play it. And I'll pass turn here. Swing in. The other problem with Gambit is that it doesn't go to all the cards, it goes to just one the same card. So I have to draw the exact same card that's being thrown back in the deck. So it has a lot of different funny problems. I don't feel like this is a good time to swing in and I don't want to gambit my Terabot because I need it to stop this Thunderbird. This, that's the other thing. If I could do this at the in the end step, that would be nice, too. I mean, I guess I'm, I might be asking for a lot at this point. I think I'd rather block it with Terabot. We'll play uh, Wizard right here, and then I can Gambit the Wizard. turn I'll try to gambit this wizard. I'm just going to hold here. There's nothing for me to swing in against. I should get, not double, but six times. Yeah, but I have to draw the exact same wizard. I can't draw any Silver Talon wizard. I have to draw the exact same one. So, And it's not like it's going to tell me that it may not even sh put something on the card that tells me that it's been gambited. But six wi wizards and six owls seems really good, and, and it might confuse the AI at some point. So this guy makes everything have flying, and I really don't like that. I also don't like this Thunderbird. There's another gambit. Okay. Oh, we're going to gambit away this wizard. Yeah, I could I could gambit away his owl, too. His talent senator, if I wanted to. Uh, I think I'd rather just throw a chaos key out here and just keep the board in a stale, stalemate. He shouldn't, he shouldn't attack in here. Play my shard. Alright, 
let's just go ahead and pass this. So we'll just keep things at a stalemate. Uh, could I could gambit this senator away? Yeah, I might as well. Let's see what the next card is. Oh, another wizard. Or if that's the same wizard. I guess we'll find out next turn. We're about to step into a long meeting. <laughs> yeah, I know all about those. What just happened? All my cards just got, like, moved around, and I didn't even... Like, they got reorganized for some reason. I'm not sure what just happened there. That was weird. That's really weird. Yeah, I didn't... Dude, I... <laughs> I didn't even move the cards around. They just kind of moved by themselves. That's kind of freaky. Yeah, they're just moving around now. That is weird. I wonder if they did something last night. Where the cards are reordered. Now they're just moving around again. Well, this is a new bug. It's alpha, people. Uh, so we'll see if this guy is the guy. So I only got two. I'm supposed to get six. Wow, well that didn't work very well. That didn't work at all. <laughs> well, so I guess that's a bug report. Well, I guess I could have swung in with Terabot. This is crazy. Right, I got two owls off of one wizard. And it's doing this crazy shuffle thing. This is like the craziest. I wonder if it's a bug because of Plague Replicator's Gambit. I'm gonna have to look it up on the forums now. I may not be able to play you anymore. For a while. Okay, I definitely have to Chaos Key that, this, this, this guy. not liking that card shuffling, random card shuffling. <laughs> this is, that's kind of crazy. Uh, I suppose I can draw a card. No, I want to, I want to key that guy. Key that guy. Start to clean up the field here a little bit. They are dancing. They're dancing in the dark. You know, like that Lady Gaga song that has that as like a chorus line or something. I'm thinking it has something to do with Replicator's Gambit. That's not good. I expected him to swing in. He didn't. I'm gonna try this deck one more time after this, and not Replicator's Gambit, the uh, Senator, or I might swap it for something else and see what happens. Play my shard, I guess. Put another dude into play. Draw a card. 
secret lab should be free. No, it'll be. It should cost. Well, I guess it does cost one less. Uh, I'm gonna sappers charge this guy. Maybe. Oh, uh, well, I can sappers charge after the attack. So let's go our attack phase, and then if he blocks off one of my owls, I'll sapper charge his thunderbird. I'm on the offense here. Senator should have got should get bigger at some point as well. Well, we'll see if he doesn't block. Okay, so he's going to do it that way. That's fine. Take six. So. They'll stop dancing now that I, those senators. Nope. Still moving around. Okay. Yeah, I do kind of. I do kind of wonder. Well, no, it has to deal it to the player. See, well, it doesn't say it there, but there you go. To opposing champion. Yeah. So I actually I should have held off to see if that would have worked properly or not. But. Yeah, it should have made six senators and six owls is what should have happened there. Well, they popped them back to my hand. Okay, well, we'll see what happens if I play them again. So they're giving me a second chance to try this mechanic out, then. Because he should still co create six copies of himself, because that should be permanent. Unless it's not the same senator. So if I draw another one, I'll try to play him instead. I kind of want to clear my opponent's board, though, board state, so I can just kind of, like, burn through the deck. Yep, so it did his effect twice again, instead of six times. Although, again, it may not be the same senator, it's difficult to tell. I might as well play my secret lab here, even though I can't use it this turn. And then... So I'll go ahead and attack him. Um, that seems pretty good. I can take 6 damage, no problem, five or 7 damage if he decides to do it. Of course, that guy's on the ground. I'll block him off all day. It'll just be the Thunderbird if I see something. If the Thunderbird attacks, that'll be nice, because then we can throw these Senators back and see if it buffs this guy twice. So, but I don't think he will. I think he's on the back foot now. So. my senator again, which means that he's now disassociated with these, um, or I'm sorry, he's, yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's disassociated with these silver talons, or talon senators, so that means I, I'm free to block with them. Yeah, more owls. Again, we're still not even sure if this is the one that got replicated, so... There should be an owl hanging out in the deck that's also been replicated. So if we see the owl, we know that it's definitely... And the cards keep moving around, too, in my discard pile. They keep shuffling around, if you didn't notice. Which is kind of weird. This is a really odd bug, that's for sure. Um, so I'll play the Sapper's Charge to dump his... Dump this guy. I can not play my silver. Okay, I'll play my senator next turn. I'm just trying to take control of the board state so I can freely do whatever I want to now. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, so I should have complete control of the board state now. 
Let's go ahead and use this to draw. No, actually, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm going to discard this gambit. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. That was a bad choice, because I really don't want to discard this guy, because that's the guy we need to cast. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to attack them like once with owls. Once I get two more owls in play, and I have to make sure I do the same ones, and they're going to be shuffling them around. So that actually might be a problem. This is really annoying because it's taking more time to do that all that shuffling. I think it's taking up my it's eating up my clock too. It's not even eating up my opponent's clock. Well, that's not good. Well, now I can swing these senators into his scouts and um, kill them. So I don't, so that should clean up my board a little bit. So that way I don't, I won't get confused. And I can play my senator in the second main phase. If I top deck any resources, I can use my lab to burn through the deck a little bit more. Now I could do yesterday. That would, doesn't do very much here. I might actually just throw yesterday away. Yeah, the reason why I'm doing this again is just to get rid of these guys because I don't want them on the board. And now I'll play my senator in the second main phase. Create two dudes. And then he shouldn't attack in, actually, so we may not actually get to see these senators do any damage here. Uh, here I'll secret lab to burn through, I'd rather. Oh, Chaos Key is good. Yeah, so we'll get rid of Yesterday and keep our Chaos Key. So now I can Chaos Key these dudes away. Of course, I should have done that a second wave phase, not actually at the end step, but... Yeah, it seriously has to be eating up my clock every time it does that. Destroy air superiority. Yeah, that actually might be the, a good thing to do. Ooh, Storm Colossus. That's a problem. That is a massive Storm Colossus. But he can't attack, and he won't. I can't, can't really do too much. I guess I could get rid of air superiority, but then again... Still at really a stalemate here. Not that I'm trying to win this match. I feel like I'm losing a lot of time here. Because I'm at 16 minutes now. Both clocks say that they're stopped, but all this shuffling is happening, I'm pretty sure I'm losing time here. I'm watching my timer now. Yeah, I lose time every time that happens. Uh, so that's not cool. Yeah, let's get rid of one of these air superiorities, and I can actually block his dudes. It's a sapper's charge. I guess that's kind of good. targets for it, though. My clock is going while his clock is going. 
probably going to lose to time in this match more than anything else. I wish he would attack him, actually. So I could just clean up this board state, but he's not going to. He should. <laughs> so if this was a player, he would know that he could attack him with this Storm Colossus, no problem, really. Well, I guess I can triple block it, but... Yeah, it won't make it. It won't make the trade. It's in defensive mode. I think this guy's number got reset when he was played out, which makes me wonder if he gets bounced again, will he goes up, go up to 7 properly or not? Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> wow, this is definitely... Yeah, I'm getting... I might have to bug report this today. Card shuffling. Well, there's another secret lab, which I guess I could throw away. Worker Mop Factory. Yeah, I'm seriously losing like almost a full minute every turn because of all this shuffling. I wonder if it's supposed to be like shuffling my deck, but instead for some reason now it's shuffling everything. It's shuffling all the cards in play. And I wonder if it's like supposed to be shuffling all the cards in my deck every turn to make it more random. That almost seems like that's what's going on. You would think it would just record all the cards in the deck. I don't know, something, some sort of a shuffling mechanism within the game is has misfired and is targeting all of my zones. Yeah, you can see the lap. Come on. This is the weirdest bug. I got it. Diamond. Isn't that a diamond? Whoa, that was kind of crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and discard this. Now well, I can... Um, yeah, that's fine. Except, turn in my graveyard, get a sapper's charge. Did I break it? I think I broke it. Nope, okay, not yet. I can kill one of his guys in the next phase, so we'll wait. Yeah, I'm 
so still randomizing all my cars. I'm at 11 minutes now. Not too much time left on my clock. However, the computer seems to have like only played for a full minute of this match. A minute and one second. Although it is definitely playing right now. I'm not doing anything. Shuffling up all my cards. Killing my time. Killing my clock. supposed to be my turn, but it's really not, because I'm just sitting here. Uh. At least I can see the different cards in my, my, my deck, as they just keep rotating around. I can, you know, that was functionality that wasn't there before. You couldn't see all the cards in your pile. Alright, less stuff to shuffle around seems pretty good. Let's just kill that guy. Draw a card. Oh, there's that Senator Al. This should be interesting. Alright, so let's see if we get six of these. I think I'm only going to get two, if anything. Nope. Just the one. And of course he's married to... I don't even know if he's going to be married to that senator or not. So Replicator's Gambit just... just throws things back in the deck. It doesn't actually allow you to make six copies of the card when they come into play. Well, I could... I could attack with both of these Terabots, and he'll have to block. He'll block one here, and he'll block one here, which will kill this guy, and I'll lose the Terabot to his Storm Colossus, and then I can, in the following turn... Yeah, it would be less Shuffle. I can't attack with like these guys though. Control and artifact draw card. He's gonna dingler his own guy. Yes! That was like exactly what I needed to happen right now. And Dingler was kind of like losing his mind there. Alright, so now I can attack him with a single Terabot into his Phoenix Guard Scout. And then in the following turn I can attack with all of these Silver Talon Senators so we can see if they buff the wizard properly. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, that's for sure. Not to mention all the shuffling. I think I lost my music, too. Yeah, the music stopped playing. The game music stopped. It's a side effect of the shuffling. Seems like it shuffles things that are similar or the same. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's see here. I got the music I'll pull more. Okay. Card discard. Charge bot. Why is charge bot in here? That doesn't make sense to me. I thought I pulled those. 
I wonder if it's the deck. I wonder if there's a problem with the deck. I don't think I even want to play this charge bot. Okay, so last thing we're going to test out here is we're going to attack him with these three senators and see if this guy buffs twice. He should only buff twice. If he buffs three times, that means the one the one that was replicated is buffing him, which shouldn't happen. Because they should be married up only when they're both in play. Also, I didn't create six, you know, like we, we've already talked about. But for some reason, I got two activations off of this uh, this guy, so I don't know. The interaction seems to be between Silver Talons, or Wizard of the Silver Talon, Silver Talon Senator, and Replicator's Gambit. song. He's digging. Alright. He's perfectly positioned too. He's at four life. I have three guys to attack in. He won't die. So we'll get to see all this stuff happen. I could actually tag with some of my ground dudes as well. Love when the computer dinglers his own guy. This is like the best deck to test against. Is like when the computer pit pulls up this deck because it basically just sits there and just eats it. Unless it is that you get like an early Thunderbird, which you can't you can't handle. It's a, it's a bird. Yeah, a bird. Alright, so... Swing it with these three guys, and I want to take care of his groundlings, so I'm going to go ahead and just swing it with a warbot, and... This guy... That seems pretty good. Okay, well, he decided to die instead of blocking. That's really annoying. Well, that's a little frustrating. He should have blocked with both of those guys. Alright, we're going to try it one more time here. Are we going to win the cards? Yeah. That was a long match, too. That wonderful Silver Talon Senator, we can try to replicate again. I think this guy would be an interesting repl replication uh, target as well. Still have no idea in that game if uh, the the Senator that I I had like that's the other thing is like with Gambit, it's like it seems like I have no idea if the card I drew was actually targeted by Gambit until I play it. So I feel like it needs to mark the card. Two. Uh, I guess we'll play our worker bot factory. We probably should have played that in the opening turn, actually. It's gonna do a lot for us, but it gets us more bodies to block off damage. Once this guy starts Get playing stuff. Dice. Get the dice, okay. Things go so much faster when there's no shuffling involved. This thing just automatically makes stuff, right? Oh no, I have to remove four oh, counters yeah. to make a dude. Okay, and it's got two. It's properly showing me counters. They should be able to show it here too, I think, but that's probably coming later. Oh boy, if I'm going to throw away something, it's 
probably going to be having a research adept. Yeah, research adept. Chase of Ferb? No. <laughs> watch Fiend and Ferb? Okay, watch Fiend and Ferb later, okay? I don't want to discard any of these cards. That's the problem right now with Secret Lab. Tied up on damage as far as how much damage I'm gonna deal while he's dealing damage to me. Oh, can I make another worker bot? No, I only have two counters, even though I just played this. Robots. Oh, only robots, not not artifacts. Okay, so it's not a it's not a robot. Yeah, top decker resource here. No, oh, don't get my senator. Wow. I guess he can, he can still come into play. <sighs> okay, well, I can definitely get rid of a gambit here, so let's go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? I can I can discard this worker bot for her by using two cards. And then yeah, let's get rid of this research adept. It's probably not a good play here, but I, I think I'm gonna gambit away my defense uh, defensive guy. So I can draw more cards. Oh, there's a chaos key that helps. Maybe. Later it will. I have no attacks to make. Of course, now I, I can't block this witch now, but... Oh man, they're still doing it. As soon as I use the gambit, stuff starts shuffling around. That's it. That's all there is to it. Well. Wow. That's annoying. that long anyways I think he's gonna kill me yeah it would seem that it's a UI or a what's what's probably happening is your your deck's supposed to shuffle and because you cast gambit put something in your deck and then gambit goes to the graveyard it's targeting all these different zones and then it starts using the shuffling mechanism for the deck for everything else is what I would guess is happening here Senator. Of course, I can't gambit him away now, because I need... Well, I guess I could. But making 601 Silver Talon Senators doesn't sound that great to me. Oh, well, I'll probably end up doing it anyways. At least I have a blocker for his flyer. Uh, his groundlings should come through. No problems, though. Of course, you could just end up killing my stuff. It's not good. You're gonna kill my my. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I'm trying to test this deck out, I'm gonna take this damage and then I'm gonna gambit away this senator. That kind of helps. That helps me lock up my board state a little bit. Yeah, so I have to play this guy here to just lock up the board state. Oh, and I get a worker bot. No, I don't. Uh, can't really attack in. It's past the phase. So stuff's not shuffling as much at this point. Not yet. Oh, well, I'm about to play a second gambit. Oh, he's going to swing in anyways. Okay. Well, I guess I just blocked Terabot to the 
biggest. Oh, he killed my guy. Most damage here, so that still means I take six. Yeah. It's kind of on the offensive. <laughs> Need to get some more blockers. Key anything, I can't swing in past her. You gonna get down? No. Yeah. Different game. What's a different game? Harvester. pay attention to the board state right now, so it looks like I'm going to have to Chaos Key something, which will most likely be Harvester, because of his back end is just too difficult for me to deal with. I'm trying to continue this game on here. Whereas I have good blockers for everything else in his board state. Transfer my Terabot. No. Well, now I'm, now I'm in some trouble. See, and that's again where Replicator's Gambit would be good if I if it was a quick action. It really needs to be a quick action, so that way I can respond to that and throw it back into my deck with it. With uh, that's where I I feel like Replicator's Gambit could have been good, and I kind of missed the boat. Although he should have swung in with his corpse slide, he didn't. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to use my secret lab to throw away this secret lab. Yeah. Play this resource, and then I'll have, be able to play this welding bot. Oh, except that I don't have the resources for it this turn, so I'll have to wait a turn. Pass turn. Where's the Legos? Whoa, you got little toots? No. It's a All the Legos. All the Legos. Uh, corrupt Harvester again. That's a problem. He's going to swing here. That makes sense to me. So, I have to double block here. I'm sick. You're sick. I might as well prevent as much damage as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and double block here, and then I'm going to single block this guy to chump him off. So I'll only take the one damage. I'm really kind of running out of options here. Obviously to prevent the future damage there, but Corrupt Harvester is going to carry the game at this point. So that actually helps a little bit. can play this Welding Bot, and that blocks both his guys just fine. Unfortunately, I don't have a good target for it, I don't think. Maybe I do. I don't know. No, I do not. I've got a charge bot. That is not what I want to see. I want to see, uh... Whatever it's called. So I'm, I'm on a slow bleed as long as he can't take care of my... I'm on a slow bleed as long as he can't take care of my um, wel heavy welding bot because he can block off most of this stuff here. 
still going to hold on to this gambit in case, because that's the whole point of playing this, is to try it. If, it. if I was playing competitively, obviously I'd throw it away. But the whole point of this exercise is to see if I can get gambit to work properly. So I've got two more turns to take care of that corpse fly. I need a top deck. Uh, not bad. No, no, oh, why did you, oh, I need that sapper's charge to take care of the corpse flying, so I'm going to have to get rid of this. Alright, so that will lock up the board state for me. I'm just doing it now, just this, I mean, I would normally do it during this attack step, that's, that's when you should do that. But I'm just trying to push things along here. Yeah, I need to dump that, uh, oh, well, that doesn't help. So that's another must answer threat at this point in the game. It'd be nice to top deck a Terabot here. Or another Sapper's Charge. Okay, that works. I really need to get the Sapper's Charge for this uh, welding bot. This guy's got a lot of life. Are you burping? Yeah. There's a replicator's gambit that I can't use. Can you get down? Alright. You can go use the potty. Say yes. Go use the potty. Oh gosh. He's not going to. Obviously. Because he's defiant. Well, at least that Shadow Grove Witch doesn't have a good target. I have to get off after this one and feed kids breakfast. There's a terabot. Encounter, so I have three. So I can gambit my welding bot at maybe at some point. really kind of just want to get rid of some of his stuff on the table. Actually, you know what I'm, I'll do is I'll probably swing in with the welding bot, because he won't double block. And I'm going to tear his back up to uh, block if I need to on the ground. A resource, that's fine, because now I can uh, top deck another resource, of course. Keep burning through the deck to find more resources. Take damage, okay. So I guess I'm gonna have to deal some damage to him for a while before he starts blocking. He keeps top decking resources, which is good for me right now. I keep top decking resources, which is bad for me right now. There we go. Clean up this board state a little bit. Of course, if I think no terrible transfer only goes to creatures. It doesn't go to uh, doesn't go to um, to the face. And I don't think he has the other card that does to go to the face. Uh, let's go ahead and secret lab here. There's a bull cannon. Kill this guy. Should block this harvester, maybe? No, I'll just take it. Alright, pass. Would be really neat to, like, replicate six of these in a play and then... No, that's not good. But now we're back to square one. 
keeps gaining so much life off of the terrible transfers. Oh, well, there we go. That seems pretty good. Oh, and there's a chaos key. That's even better. The Terabot. So can put another dude into play. Yes. The chaos key. Can't use the chaos key this turn. I'll have to wait till next turn. And again, this would be a bad attack because it could double block my guy, but then again, it would be an open board state. Well, no, it wouldn't because I'd only kill one, so it would just be a one-for-one -one trade. But I know the computer's not going to block with more than one dude right now. So it makes testing some of these mechanics a lot easier when I can play against the computer because I know that I, I'm sure there are a lot of players that would not want to have to do this. Um, that might be another reason to get more people into the uh, alpha is just to have more people that want to test mechanics and stuff in the game. Because not everybody does. Targets. He targets my bowl cannon. Someone was saying that it was getting negative counters on it anyways, but I'm not seeing it. So it's supposed to give it permanent minus two, minus two. I kind of want to knock down his life before I do a, too much gambiting. Let's make sure I can keep him under control. I guess I'll go ahead and try to gambit this guy away, and we'll see if we start shuffling cards again. Dude, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Add the following effects to the chain. Sure. So I guess I get two sappers charges back. For replicating that guy. Now that's probably not supposed to happen either. I need to make sure I do a different Sapper's Charge because otherwise it's gonna mess up. So I got my Sapper's Charges back from replicating the Warbot and throwing it back into my deck somehow. Um, so I guess that means I can kill this guy, so I guess I'll do that. Just clear the board, stay a little bit more. too much stuff on the board so I'm just gonna hold most of the stuff. Probably play a bull cannon here, that's fine. And just swing it with Terrabot because there's nothing going on just to kind of knock his life total down a little bit more and I can bull cannon at the end of his turn. Bull cannon... what? Twice? I can bull cannon twice with four guys in play. I have one counter on my 
worker bot factory. All right, so. Six damage. There's another replicator's gambit if I dare. Which I don't have a really good target for it right now. Could hit charge bot with it, I guess. There's that heavy welding bot. Whoa, it just came into my hand and I got its activated ability twice. <laughs> well, that's silly. So here we go. I'm going to try to play this heavy welding bot. It's the only one in the deck, so I know it's the same one. It hasn't. It doesn't say anything about the Replicator's Gambit being applied to it. Obviously it has been, because it's doing all these crazy things. So the abilities are going off multiple times, but as far as the it creating multiple copies of the, uh, of the uh, troop in question, it's not doing that. I kind of want to see if it starts shuffling things. That might have been just because it was the senator. I don't know. Because now I have a replicated target in play again. So. I'll be right there. Fly. I'll get rid of a uh, charge bot because I'll probably just pull it back with another welding bot. And I can kill it with this. With one of my savage charges. And I'm not, not, still not seeing any shuffling going on, so that's a good thing. Because that was really annoying. Alright, so I'm going to end the game here and, uh,. Head out because I think this, I feel pretty good about this. So, I got six, 61, six one cost artifacts due to bug. Yeah. Pretty much. I need to get going, so I'm just going to finish this off in style. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on here, so they're definitely going to want to watch this video after I post it. So I'll probably post this later today at some point in time. All right, gentlemen, well, thanks for joining me, as always. And, uh, yeah, God bless you and your families and trying to reach too much out there.